Hey guys, it's Daros Props here, and this is kind of like a tutorial slash mod, very basic stuff for the Open Ra, this thingy here. Uh, as you're aware, I always play it all the time. So basically, this is like editing some of the like Notepad files. So I'm going to show you how to get to it. So this is on Windows 10, by the way. So go on this PC, you drive thing. Dragon Files, find open raw mods, and then I'm not playing Red Alert, I don't really play it very often, or Dune, I'm always Command and Conquer basically, original. And then you want this rules thing here, so this is all the things you can edit. So what I like to do is just make a backup of it, put that on the desktop, uh, there it is. Let me just rename that. Um, rules backup or something like that there we go now you want to go down to google or any other web thing i use google because it's the best i think and you want to download this program called sublime and this basically makes all the like text format much easier and simpler and it seems to work better because if you if I just show you like you go on here and go on the AI like you can barely read that can you? It's you know, it's really hard to read, it looks rubbish. You know, you can, it's hard to read. And sometimes you you can edit the squad size and it works, but if you start editing like how many harvesters Cabal see Cabal uh starts like building, it starts to mess it up. So exit all of that. Go on Google, download this for Windows, let this button here. I don't want to do it again because I've already got it. And then you should get this program here. Okay. So I haven't got anything um, open. So if I open file, go on my desktop, find the rules backup one. There it is. Open AI let, and there you go let. See? Comes up so much easier. Now I have been playing around with this quite a bit, um, it's quite good fun, but please make sure you back up the file because you will ruin it and you have to re-download OpenRAR again. Uh, this is just for me, for like playing with AI if you want. Um, so like if you go down here and go to squad size, there, you could put that at like 150 if you want. Uh, you could change the amount of harvesters he buys, we'll just do 14. Uh, you can change how he airstrikes. You can even, like, wait, well, you can change his name. I'll just change his name to, uh, let's just call him Scott or something like that. The pig, that'll do, random. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he's got the pig now, he's not Cabal. Uh, you can stop him from building silos, because that's really annoying. If you put a minus there, they won't build one. And this is all like the percentages. Uh, well, Scott the pig is gonna like build. Production is um, refineries and things like that. Nuke is the first power plant. Hand pile is barracks. HQ, I think, is communication center. I'm not really too sure. Um, but yeah, you can change all them. They all add up to 100%. So if you do change them, you need to make sure you uh, change them accordingly. So like, he's going to have a 7% chance of building a SAM site. Let's change that to 1. So I've got 6 more percent now. So let's just add it to the um, obelisk tower, which is obviously all Nod people. So that'd be 13, wouldn't it? Uh, I think fix is um, repair bay. I'm not really too sure. but And then... Units to build, from what I can work out, is because if you go off this and go back on rules, there's also an infantry one here. But each infantry unit is classes these, E1, E3, things like that. And E1 is um, bog standard infantry, so like riflemen. So if I change... Um, Let's change E5 to 100% and we'll put all these at zero. And that means he should really only build the 
um, gas men. Okay. And then you can change like all this as well, buggies, artillery. Let's just put, it will, it will make him a nod character so I can show. Uh, let's just make it so buggies are like 95% and let's just see what happens there, shall we? Uh, you can also change how many helipads and stuff he builds. It all depends on how long they survive, but basically that's a good example. You can go on, uh, if I went file open, you can go on like inventory look and start editing how much they cost. And I don't really know what this one does yet. I haven't quite figured that out. Uh, how fast they run, their HP. You could change their weapon to any other buddy, anybody else's weapon. So like if I... Well, I'll just show you quickly. If I go on weapon and you type in grenade. So he is actually going to use this guy's grenade now. But I think I might need to put this stuff on as well. I haven't actually tried the grenade guy. I've It worked with a sniper. I'll just, show, I'll just do it as sniper because I know it works. Might be a bit easier. So that's just stealing the commando sniper, basically. Um, you know, I can make him cost a bit more. Just to show him, we'll, we'll rename him, so it's his name. Uh, just sniper. But as you can see, I don't want to edit too much, because it will crash. But using this program, this sublime thing, seems to make it a lot better. So... Uh, I want to make a new folder actually and save all these as modded rules like that okay that's that's on the desktop now let's go back on here file save as this is infantry and we go modded rules beam and now I want to go on this AI File, save as. Where's, there he is. AI, save. Okay, so you exit that. Uh, so this is back to the open RAR, let's see, mods thing again. So this is the where the application is going to open. So we're going here and then copy both of these. Oop wrong thing copy both of them and then paste them in here because otherwise if you don't paste them it's, it says access denied or something like that so yeah we got the AI there the inventory the one I modded okay so now if we exit that exit that and now we shall load up the game and set it up see as you can see it says Scott the pig so that's Cabal uh, he, we want him has a nod don't we to test out what he's going to be doing so I want to be able to see what he's doing we'll put it on fast and I'll be I'll be nod as well uh, we'll make him like red or whatever and that's it. Building. Right. So, he should be building some special stuff now. I mean, I want to check the infantry unit and show you that it does actually work. To show you, you can mod units and tanks and stuff like that as well. So, he's called Minigunner. Sniper in brackets, as you can see. Look. And he's 150. And does he fire a sniper? Of course he does. <laughs> but the thing with them now, they won't actually attack units. So he's built three power plants. Look. So this isn't like normal Cabal, is it at all? So he's mainly only going, going to go for the nuke. And he should only really build. Well, he's building tier one units, but that's obviously a sniper man as well. But he when he gets up to his nuke thing, he will only build gas men. But obviously, he isn't going to come and attack me because 
Uh, he wants 150 units. Construction complete. I mean, I didn't really master at modern games or anything, but I found this out, it was pretty easy. But, uh, yeah, I'll speed it up now and then uh, you can see what he actually has. Alright. Right, guys, I'm back. And oh no, I just started attacking. Anyway, to ignore that, as you can see, he started building the gas men. Did you see that? Obviously, he's building quite a lot of men here, but he will only build gas men now, as you can see. Look, gas men would just keep coming out. That's it. He won't build any more missile men or. Anything like that. Lost. He'll just keep being gas men. So as you can see, he's he is actually doing what I told him to do. Which is really good. And another thing. Do you remember I put minus silo? Can't see a silo there. Silo so needed. I'm wondering if I can make a really serious computer player. Like someone really, really strong. I mean, see how different this is. Like, he's got all these units. I mean, I'm not really doing anything. I'm just trying to show off, um, like, what I've done here. So I wonder if you could make, like, a unit, you know, almost like the guys do on, uh, play online or whatever. You know, you can make someone who just builds mammoth tanks and orcas, you know. <laughs> it could be quite difficult. But, uh, anyway. Well, that's pretty much it, and, uh, Feel free to leave me a comment uh, if you enjoyed it, <laughs> and, you know, if, if you know any more stuff, but that's very basic. I mean, you can change, obviously, as you've seen, change some units, attacks and stuff, but you've got to be very careful because it does crash quite easily. But yeah, I'm Damaris Probs. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, take care.